What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here and it's time to put Rayman into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We have lots to get through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. When it comes to Rayman, one thing I always see people suggesting in his moveset is to have his wind-up punch be a standard special. Come on, people, is Rayman Legends the only Rayman game you've ever played? That could just be his smash attack. His special attacks would most likely incorporate his paint bucket abilities from the 3D Rayman games, specifically Rayman 3. His standard special would be the Shock Rocket, a remote control rocket that he can aim as it travels. However, you would be unable to move while controlling the projectile, similar to Snake's side special in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. His side special could be the Lockjaw, a long chain with a huge metal mouth at the end for biting your opponents. It could even grab onto the ledge from far away. When it comes to his up special, people always suggest he should fly with his hair like a helicopter like he does in the games. Again, have you only played Rayman Legends? You could just simply hold up to have him glide with his hair like Peach in her dress. Use the up special for the throttle copter. This move would send him hovering upward quite a distance, but it would be slow and not allow him to attack, which would leave you wide open. Then for his down special is the vortex, allowing Rayman to create platforms for himself and others. He could even toss these along the ground to do some serious damage. Plus, it'd be pretty fun to trick your enemies with, making a platform off the stage disappear as your opponents try to land on it. Overall, with Rayman's ability to create platforms, his throttle copter giving him insane height, and his ability to use the lockjaw to grab edges from a far distance, Rayman would be one of the best recoverers in the entire game. Now costumes are where we can rely on Rayman Legends a lot, as they practically gift wrap this topic to us. You could have his Globox skin, Cave Rayman, Night Rayman, Naked Rayman, Evil Rayman, heck, you could even have his Mario Rayman outfit. Now for his final smash, I think he'd summon an army of rabbits. And to make it easier for this attack to land, he could force the other players to dance while he summons them. Think of Ratchet and Clank's Groovatron or something. Hmm, Ratchet and Clank, they're not likely, but it'd be fun to do a video on them. Hmm. Anyways, why this final smash? Well, actually, it's because it's quite debatable on who is more likely to get in, Rayman or the Rabbids, because, after all, Rayman did have a trophy in the previous game, but the Rabbids did have a recent crossover with Mario. I personally think Rayman is more likely, but this would be a good way to include both. Stages are also easy. The Rayman series is full of such creative settings, like Bandland. We haven't had a Smash Brothers stage based on musical instruments before. There's also Land of the Livid Dead from Rayman Origins. We could have branches of thorns coming out to attack the fighters. I had lots of fun with the assist trophies. Kinda sad I could only limit it to just two, though. Anyways, first up is Murphy. Now, Murphy plays a big role in Rayman Legends. He has his own touchscreen levels where he can push and pull platforms. So it'd be interesting if in Super Smash Bros. Switch, Murphy popped up and dragged the other opponents somewhere else, or maybe created platforms to crush them with. And then, if you're in handheld mode, you could even control Murphy yourself. We don't have any interactive assist trophies like this. It'd be super unique. Then you could have Batilla and her nymph sisters, each nymph granting a different stat boost or property to your attacks. In the Rayman games, Batilla is typically the one to give you the power to attack, so she could raise your strength stat. We also have an ice nymph, a music nymph, even an undead nymph, so there's plenty of potential here. Items were a little tricky, but there was plenty of creativity to be found in the first game. First item is the cage. In the original Rayman game, these were used to trap the Electoons, and they can be used to trap your opponents. They'd be stuck inside while you can destroy the cage from the outside, dealing massive damage. Next is the Golden Glove power-up. In Rayman, this would increase your strength so that you could kill opponents that normally require two hits with a single hit. In Smash, this would greatly increase the power of your next Smash attack, turning it into a one-hit kill for some players. Next up would be one of my favorite items in the whole game if they choose to include it. In Rayman 1, there were these giant plums that you could knock off of vines. They would bounce around like a basketball and get stuck on the opponent's head or float in water as a platform. You could even ride on them as they bounced for crazy speed, so it'd be fun to see all of that here. Aside from the getting stuck on opponent's head, because that'd be kind of hard to program. Cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. To finish off this video, I'll show you the 8 pieces of music that I think would fit Rayman and Smash the best, and you may want to stay tuned for that, because afterwards, I'll show you who's next.